all the while just collecting more ornaments. Okay, <laughs> thank you Ali for that explanation. Uh, 300 pound eagle with a kick-ass rack, yeah. Yeah, definitely. So just uh, getting off view of these uh, bandit technicals. And I'll see you guys in a second when we're done with this. And this is supposed to be the last one. So let's just kill them all. There we go. And there's the alley. Alley uh, ornament if you're wondering. It always drops. Oh, please don't kill me. There we go. There we go. Let's go back to Alice, and we can put up the ornaments at her garage. Just put those ornaments all around the garage. This place is gonna look badass once they're up. There we go. It's gonna look badass. There we go. We can see the first position we need to put one in. Already over there, which is oh. nice. So let's do just <laughs> that. And then oh. just all around the garage. People are gonna see that when they come in and be like, yeah, that one's my favorite. Okay. <laughs> kind of cut her off there. Didn't want to do that, but uh, we have one over Hot. here. Hot. Hot again. Mm -hmm. So now she has short dialogue lines, but for some reason not with every one that of them. Good. And there we go. So now we can turn that in, positive self-image, and get another reward for our troubles. Explosions, theft, and interior design. Hell of a day. So we get an artifact for that, which is another thing that we haven't really discussed. Which just gives us a bunch of stat boosts. Uh, and this one is specific for vehicles, which is of course perfect because we're getting it from Alec. There we go. And then we can turn in the Too Close for Missiles quest as well. Right over here on the other side of this thing. Because this guy that wanted us to destroy their volleyball net is still here. Hello Loggins. Several years ago, the bandits of the dust established an elite school for the top 1% of its pilots. Its purpose was to teach the lost art of aerial combat and to ensure that the handful of men who survived were the best gyro pilots in the world. They succeeded. Today, the people of Pandora call it Gyro Training Camp. The Flyers call it That Place We Go To Play Volleyball. You can be my wingman anytime. There we go. Thank you, thank you. Danger zone. Yeah, we get, we get it. We get it. You're, you're a Top Gun reference. We, we get it. So let's just get the wild ass spinny gun. Which is, yeah, pretty useless otherwise. But I'm gonna just sell it. Uh, but that's, that's two side quests in the dust. We're gonna be returning here quite a few times. Because of there's, a, there's a very long side quest in here as well. With a nice story. So the final side quest before we head out to... Oh my god, that looks horrifying. Before we go to the Thunder Express, it's actually inside of the Bloodshot Stronghold. There's actually two badasses here, which is interesting. How hilarious. You just set off my trap card. I think I can get a headshot in. Approaches. Or not. I think the badass is suffering. There we go. Oh, wow. I think I exploded. Let's just shoot him in the arm. Right in the opening of his shield. And that's gonna be enough. Goodbye. Wow, he's he's dropping stuff. There we go. Let's just... That's too, too badasses to start with. I'm just gonna rage through everybody else here. Because we're kind of overleveled. Oh. There's already loaders in here. There we go. So, uh, if you remember last time, we actually got to uh, meet these Lotus, the Hyperion Lotus. Which are actually the creepy, creepy robots that Hyperion actually sent off to this group. For some reason... Oh. Out of body experience, an AI core with 1340 engraved on the enclosure. Forgot about this side quest. So, can a ruthless killing machine change its ways? You have blasted out my AI core. I require a new shell. There is a broken constructor bot in the bloodshot dam. Insert the and I will So, there we go. We need to install the AI core into another loaded, which is something that we could do. There we go.
I mean, I'm clearly shooting him in the face. Goodbye. There's at least one more. But now that is open. Remember that opening. We're gonna be heading... There we go. Over there in a second. We're just gonna melee the fuck out of this guy. Because this weapon gives me 50% extra melee damage. Which comes in handy. You know what? I'm gonna leave you alone. Just gonna throw a grenade over there. I'm just throwing those too high, aren't I? Or not. There we go. In the back. I don't even need to do this, but for some reason I'm really mad. Oh, for fuck's sake. Where the... Ah. There he is. There he is. Sweet, sweet paybacks. I'm just gonna open this up. And then we go down here. And this has opened up. This has opened... This has opened up. Uh, excuse me. Ah, there we go. Okay. Keep what few wits you have about you. These mutants are not to be trifled with. Cut them no slack. So the original um, quest that we're doing is for Patricia Dennis. There's a few mutants that actually escaped the Wildlife Preservation Resort. Resort? Reserve? Something like that. And they are running around in here and that's why we need... Look at that! Rats! We haven't seen rats aside from one of the assassins yet. There we go. I don't think he sacrificed himself per se. Will you please die already? Because these guys are really, really creepy. Did he just use laser eyes? <laughs> that was uh, interesting. I don't think I ever let one of those get so close. There we go. Ah, I can shoot him right now. And that was the last one. So the rats, like very, very slim type of bandit. Which, technically they're still bandits, but they look uh, quite a bit different and quite act quite a bit different than the other ones. Wow, I have 6666 money right now. Okay. Ooh, greenness. Hmm. Green class mods, and they're all for me. Team accuracy, don't really care about that. Fire rate and melee damage. Or cooldown rate. Increases action skill cooldown rate. Just gonna equip this one, I think. I do lose my health regeneration, so I need to keep that in mind. But it was slim to begin with. So as we're leveling up, our health also keeps increasing exponentially. So that little bit of health regeneration wasn't gonna help me for long anymore as well. There we go. You got them with the corrosive. There we go. Kill that one. There we go. And now. We need to do this. Because this is a completely hidden area. If you don't activate that side quest, you can't even enter this area. Which is cool that they actually hide separate areas for side quests as well. Because this game is filled with content. If you're looking for a game to sink your teeth in for a while, this is perfect. Because you can do all this and then do that again with one of the five other characters. Is that marshmallow so staggered? I smell but yummy! Come on in, dude! That's gross, because that's supposed to be on the pizza we brought. That, that's Skagurin and marshmallows. Are you kidding me? So uh, then we got to the rat's nest. Which, again, a completely optional area. You don't need to enter if you don't want to. And we can place the pizza right over here. In between all the other parts of pizza. Hell, the pizza. <laughs> Hello, Lee. Where the hell did he go? Went over there. So there's multiples of these. Hello, Dan. And they're all gonna disappear once they're almost dead. I think there's three of them. Yeah, there's Rolf. Hello, Rolf. Rolf has melee weapons. 
And then we have... Oh, Mick! There's four of them! Never mind! Just gonna go by noise. I heard something over here. Okay, now they're all at the same time. Grenades! money with your name on it <laughs> you might assume this to be a metaphor you would be incorrect yep yeah goodbye rats <laughs> that one just slumped over on the ground grenades are awesome <gasps> and they do work look at this guy with his swords he was gonna stab me the dick there we go his name might have even been Dick. I don't know. I've kind of forgot their four names already. But of course, as usual, even this if this is a site area, you do get a whoop 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 whoop. You know what I'm gonna say? Whoop whoop weapons chest over there. There we go. Open that up. Might be something useful in there. No. Nope. What's this supposed to be? Oh right, there's a puzzle in this room. Oh, I kind of forgot about that one. Don't know the solution anymore, but I think it's just supposed to be all those lights turned to green. Oh, there we go. All lights are green now. Badass approaching. There we go. There's the last rat. I know this triggers something. Just gonna swap over to the sniper rifle. There we go. And I think he's guaranteed to drop that weapon. So there we have Arnold. Might be wrong, but he always has some good loot. There we go, the React SMG. And now we can open this up as well. And that might have something nice. Something blue? No. But we do get a new basic sniper rifle. But it doesn't have any extra critical hit damage. And this one is even better on that front. I'm actually going to go for this one. The Jacob sniper rifle. It's not easy looting green, we get another 10 badass points. And that's another secret done. We killed all five of the rats, because there were five of them. And now we can actually do the install AI core quest. I'm going to have to run through this area rather quickly now, if I want to do that. Because I don't really need to fight everything here again. Just kind of getting my bearings. So I kind of ran through all of that, but I think I forgot this one. Goddamn hurts! So there we go, so they're uh, worshipping Marcus because of the guns. Unsurprising. Which is of course a really, really weird logic, because why would an arms dealer worry about uh, you praying to him if he's just in it for the money? But let's go onto the Bloodshot Ramparts and install that AI core of an exploding robot into an even bigger, more badass robot than before. It sounds like a great plan, doesn't it? So we got the badass rock music again. There we go. You can see the constructed already in the background there. So before we do this, because this doesn't seem like such a great plan now, does it? I'm gonna equip... Is that a good sniper rifle? I think I might actually go for the, the shock sniper rifle. Because you know, robots probably don't like... Too much electricity, too much. Let's install that in here. That sounds like a good plan, right? There we go. The shield most likely well with an eating disorder. Destroy it and help me find another. Also, die. Deploy a protector. There we go. He's one uh he wants to kill us. Deploy missiles. Oh god. Well, this is annoying. You asshole. There we go. Build Buster. So 
So that's um, one of the trophies you get if you kill one of those constructed bots without it ever making a loader. But I don't think this guy actually makes one. We're gonna believe him, right? He's not gonna do that again. Why would he do that again? That would be... That would be weird. Why would he do that again? I don't... I, I, I'm, I'm tr putting all my trust into that one uh, AI core. And there we go, level 16. That actually went pretty pretty fast. Hello, buddy. You, you didn't see me there? No? Nobody saw me there? No? They're all pretty low level. So I'm guessing that's why their eyesight doesn't work. But of course, skill point, which means we can actually equip the execute skill. So there we go. If you now do this, you can actually do a dash. I killed those guys in pretty much one go. That does an immense amount of damage, because I never actually had that skill before. And it's really, really cool. So let's install that on this impossibly big warloader. That sounds like a great idea, right? Oh, why? You will? I'm gonna kill... His weapons first. Let's kill those flying things first, because those are the most annoying. Okay, then, fair enough, I still trust you. That, that sounds great, right? Just find him a radio in Sanctuary and install him over there. So sadly, there's no easy way of getting back to Sanctuary from there unless you want to go through the entire area. I trade a few guys, didn't I? The lunch is really cool to get through an area quickly. I'm just gonna toss one more goodbye grenade. Or maybe even a few. You know, because I have plenty. You gotta give it to the game. It didn't slow down the frame rate one second. That was that was nice. So uh, yeah, I'm even gonna leave that weapons chest over there. So let's go to the bloodshot ramparts. Well, not to the bloodshot ramparts, back to sanctuary. There we go, home sweet home, right? Let's find that radio and put a dangerous Hyperion AI core inside of the radio. There we go, let's do that. Remember that I said that the music installation behind this uh, place actually had uh, ties to a side quest? Well, it's this one. Um, and there we go, now we can transform the AI core into a gun! into a freaking gun. I'm just gonna play this uh, the slot machines again. I don't want to pass around here without actually activating the slot machines. Oh, that's a grenade. That's a grenade. Oh, we're gonna do that three times like we usually do, right? We haven't been we haven't been really lucky yet, so let's, let's just see. 777. Seven, seven. Ooh, that means a skin. And a crappy gun. Okay, one more time. I'm totally not addicted or anything. I'm gonna tip Moxie in the meantime. There we go. There's actually a trophy linked to giving Moxie, I think, $10,000, so... Uh, Wait, he figured it. 
If he couldn't have the thing he loved, neither could I. He sent his goons to burn the Underdome to the ground. I think he's planning to rebuild it in his own image. But he's missing the stuff that made it great. The flash, the pizzazz, the personality. And his tits aren't as nice. That is definitely true, Moxie. Handsome Jack's tits are definitely not as nice as yours. So, um, good goodbye, Moxie. Thanks for that little bit of information. So, we can bring it to Zed to be a shield, to turn the AI core in a shield, or bring it to Marcus to turn it into a gun. Of course we're going to go for a gun. What are you thinking? We're definitely going for a gun. We want to shoot things, and shields are just to protect us a bit. But they blow up anyway, so let's talk to Marcus. You want this AI thingy in a gun? Fine, but just this once. There we go, the granular shotgun, 1340, with uh, damage of 53 times 6, which is not that much. It's a Hyperion gun, and it just says, I like being a gun. So, uh, it doesn't sound like much, we just finished that side quest as well. It doesn't sound like much, there went my voice, but if you equip this thing, there we go. There we go, this thing actually talks. Because, obviously, it has an AI core in it. If you shoot it, it actually says Braca and stuff like that. It actually just talks in the entire time that you're shooting it and firing it and ch switching weapons and stuff like that. We're going to use it a little bit, not too long. Ooh. But I just spent all my money on something else. Just got enough money to get that uh, wanton lance. Yeah, let's, let's get that. I want to see our new loadout a bit. So we have the talking shotgun. Then we have a... Hmm. Do I want to switch out the sniper rifle or the Patriot's fire? I don't use the, sh the, the shocking pistol way too much. So I'm just going to swap it out with the sniper rifle. So now we have a shotgun, talking shotgun, explosive assault rifle and a shocking pistol with a high fire rate. So let's talk to Patricia to finish up the uh, pizza quest. Went the group complete. It is unfortunate the mutants could not be tamed. They would have been useful allies. And sadly we get a much better shotgun in its place. So the quick loaded rock salt so the bandits can't right, which is also something. Don't retreat, instead reload. Yeah, it's it's a lot better. It's just a lot better. But uh, with that done, we can actually go to the Thundra Express finally and check out what is over there. Next time on Borderlands 2, we meet the most psychotic 13 year old you'll ever meet. Chase the bandit, the stalker thought was all in fun. Hop! Goes the bandit.